What's good, YouTube 93 Sports News? Back to y'all with another video. Uh, let's talk some more NBA. So, after the Golden State Warriors win their second championship in three years, uh, Las Vegas odds are already out. They've been out. Uh, Cleveland Cal I'm not Cleveland Cal excuse me. The Golden State Warriors are overwhelmingly favorites to win the NBA championship year next year. Uh, second is Cleveland. I think third is Boston. I think San Antonio. I think it's fourth. And so on and so forth. Um... I think the league has to do some things and changing uh far as uh travel is concerned, uh uh rest of players is a big issue. Um but I think uh the thing that they should really look into and I haven't heard too many people talking about this, but I spoke about this in a previous video. I think it's time for the NBA to take a hard look in um, placing a franchise tag. Now, could that hurt NBA free agency to certain a certain degree? I think it can. Uh, but I, th I just think that would be better for the league. I think it will bring more uh, balance as far as talent is concerned, as far as spread out doing the spread out uh, – in the league. So I remember back when I was a kid in the early 2000s, man, you had talent spread all over the NBA. You know what I'm saying? You had uh Paul Pierce, Antoine Walker uh with the Celtics. You had uh Jason Kidd, Kenyon Martin, Richard Jefferson back uh with the New Jersey Nets. You had Shaq and Kobe, obviously. You had AI and Philly. You had Tracy McGrady uh, in Orlando, uh, Tim Duncan, you know, Mano Ginobili, Tony Parker in San Antonio. Uh, you just had you just had so you had so many uh, good talented elite players spread out in the league. Now it just feels like all the elite talent is in three or four places. Two, really, to be honest with you. And that's in Cleveland and Golden State. Now, they're already talking about Rumblings, talking about they're going to shake up the team. Cleveland Cavaliers, which they, which they should. They're going to compete with them. And talk about bringing in Paul George or Jimmy Butler, somebody like that. All they're going to, it just feels like it's just going to one up each other every year. And the way it's going. We're going to see the Cavaliers and the Warriors at least two more times, maybe even three more times in the NBA Finals in a row, unless something uh, drastic happens. I mean, like I said, I don't have a, a player deciding where they want to go, but at the same time, I am a fan, and I do like to see... Uh, some kind of uncertainty before I go in into a season. Some kind of, okay, man, maybe this team got a shot of knocking them off. Man, there's no team, unless something drastic happens with another team making some moves, or unless one of these two teams uh, sustain a, a significant injury during next year's season, we're going to see the Warriors and the Cavaliers again. And I just think it's time for the NBA to look into placing a franchise tag. Now, how the franchise tag works is you can franchise tag one player uh, on your roster that is going to be an unrestricted free agent. That means that once you tag him, you can sign him to uh, the most money for one year. And no team is able to uh, try to negotiate them into coming uh, on their team. And I think that's good. I think that can help the smaller market teams of keeping their talent once they draft them. Because a lot of these guys, once they get drafted, especially teams like Minnesota or some Phoenix Suns or some team like that, they're ready to bounce out of their first... Uh, once, they bounce, once they leave the, the first contract, they're ready to bounce and go to another team. And I think the franchise tag uh, can help. And it's also going to force teams to make trades to get these players that they want instead of pretty much just uh, not having to give up hardly anything to get these players 
So yeah, uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. 93 Sports News. I'll holler. Peace.